Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into a minute. Let's go. Before I get to the topics, I hope y'all join me tonight again on Millie Chan TV on YouTube as I talk with Terrell from the season 13 of I Love Money. I cannot wait to talk to him tonight. This is going to be so much fun. And tomorrow at 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern, I will be talking to Winter Harris from Love and Marriage DC. I have some questions for her. And I hope you do too. And I hope you join us. Let's get into these topics. Hopefully, Tiffany Haddish is getting the help that she needs. Um, according to Radar Online, a Georgia judge recently banned the 44-year-old from drinking alcohol or consuming any illegal substances and ordered her to undergo random drug testing following her second DUI arrest. I really hope that Tiffany can get the help she needs because, you know, you hate to see someone, a black woman, up and coming, fall like this. So I hope she really gets the help she needs. And maybe she can make a comeback. I was so happy to see this. Reggie Ray, you know, he was the man with the folding chair situation that went viral for the Montgomery brawl. He is going to avoid jail time. A court document showed that he pled guilty to the charges against him and in turn received 50 hours of community service and a 90-day suspended sentence. He should never... Th this shouldn't even be a thing, right? Even though he did something physical... This is good. I'm okay with this. Yeah, Ray J was on live the other night, right? And he was trying to put his daughter's hair in a bun. Baby, she was eating chips. He was struggling with that rubber band, but he finally got it. And she gave him some direction also. She told him when he was wrong. But this baby is so big and she is so beautiful. I like to see Ray J in an environment like this. He's better like this than trying to be in the business. You know what I'm saying? Ty Chrisley is still out here trying to get home. So you have a lot of time, right? He, uh, he has done his first interview from prison. He said that his environment is filthy. The inmates are starving. They have mold, dead cats in the ceiling, and he is subjected to blackmail. I'm sorry, sir, but you did the crime, and now you have to do the time. Tell me what y'all think about this. We talked about this earlier. Kenya has been granted her divorce. Granted, her divorce lasted longer than the marriage, but I'm so happy for her because being away from Mark daily is probably one of the best Christmas gifts she could ever have. I really hate it for the baby girl, Brooklyn, but she'll her mother will be better because of it. You know what I'm saying? But I know Kenya is happy about this. Baby, I thought this was fantastic. Jodeci announces the show, the after party, the Vegas residency. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this will be amazing. Is this something that you will go and see? Because this is something I would like to see. This will be amazing. Shout out to Ashley Silva. She and her uh, publishing are putting together a trip to Milan for anybody who wants to go. She has a multitude of events planned so she has all of this that you can do you know at the hotel or whatever the grand hotel villa Tereda, milan sesto you have a private car to pick you up champagne toast daily housekeeping room service wi-fi dinner breakfast i think this is awesome then she has a complete itinerary I don't know how Ashley feels about Love and Marriage DC and if there is another season, I don't know if we'll see her on there because she's not too pleased, but she is taking steps to do other things for herself and I'm happy about that. Y'all, Vegas is going to be off the chain. Wu-Tang Clan has announced that in 2024, they will have a Las Vegas residency. Wu-Tang Clan! Method Man and the RZA. This is going to be amazing. I know some other people, but they're my favorites. This is going to be great. I saw this post somewhere, and somebody put under the caption, this is Robin before she let that man steal her and Juan's money. <laughs> That's messed up. But they are beautiful. They are a beautiful couple. If Juan would only do right, he got him one because they don't really make him like Robin like that. People are so crazy. I love y'all. I listened to a little of this. Y'all know I don't really rock with, you know, like this. But Carlos King said that Phaedra Parks 
Return to Reality TV is disappointing. Helen says Phaedra complained to production when she was pressed to share her personal life. I don't think Phaedra came back to really share her personal life. I think this African that she wants us to believe that she's with, that's where her personal life is going to begin. But... Do y'all think it's disappointing with Phaedra coming back? I think Phaedra adds something. She seems to be like the mediator for the ladies, right? I want to know what y'all think about this. Lastly, do you all listen to Here for Hot Tea on YouTube? She is your favorite blogger's favorite blogger. I absolutely love her. I love her voice. I love her take on things. She's recently gotten in a little trouble. And I'm going to talk to her Friday at noon central. So we're working on something. Now you're not going to see her face because she has to keep it like that. But I can't wait to talk to her. Details to come. It's your girl Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.